Round two, fight. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're going for another one in My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Are you ready? I'm ready, let's do it. <laughs> Jumping right in. Twilight Sparkles said you were coming to Canterlot for a visit and asked if I might accommodate you. Thank you so much, Princess. <laughs> You're very welcome. No, really. It's so nice of you. <laughs> it's nothing, really. I, I just don't know what to say, but thank you. Thank you! <laughs> and the cat's just like, I'm chill. You are very welcome. Thank you! <laughs> Your luggage, mademoiselle? Huh. Oof, that looks rough. I'll leave you to get settled. <laughs> Your Highness. Enjoy your stay. Where would you like me to put these? That's perfect. <laughs> oh, do you know what I love about Cantalot? Ah, everything! Huh. I may have been born in Ponyville, but I am a Cantalot pony at heart. Now, I know that we're here to pick up some fabrics for the shop. Please excuse our interruption. I'm Jet Set, and this is my wife, Upper Crust. We saw you from across the cafe and just had to find out. Where did find you get me. that simply marvelous chapeau? Huh. Huh, this old thing? Oh, it's just something I. Hey, Rudy! Hey, Rudy! <laughs> it's me, AC Turnip Truck! We met at the big hoedown at Ponyville last fall? Oh, yes, of course. How are you? Good! Real good! You're from. Ponyville? Uh, no, I know where well, this yeah, is going. Yes, but <laughs> she's sure real. Maybe. She's a real big time fancy pint dressmaker there. Problem might that real pretty thing she's got on her head. I thought. Man, you're being rude too, though. Country. I told you it wasn't something you could get here in Canterlot, dear. Huh. Huh. Look, little country. Not something you can get here in Canterlot. I'll show you something worthy of Canterlot. I say, that's one way to make an introduction. I didn't see you there. I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Well, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, <laughs> a pony with expensive tastes, I see. It's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm back. really sorry I bumped into you. Have to go. I'm not. You are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, Rarity. Rarity. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Come. Twilight Party might not be as sophisticated as the Derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. And I won't. Opal, I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. <laughs> Everybody, this is Rarity. She's Good on him. Can't a lot castle. If you invite a guest to a party, you should always make them feel welcome. That's my two cents. I'll be rooting for rapid fire, of course. Be sure to take home the grand prize. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! <laughs> I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? My friend Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? <laughs> uh, she's the, the Wonderbolts trainer, of course. Staying at Cantalup Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonderbolts. I told you all, this was an important pony. Cheers <laughs> <laughs> for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. <laughs> and then I said, please, that isn't a hat, darling. That's a natural disaster that somehow this landed feels atop your head. I like the Rainbow Dash oh. episode in a different way. Oh. <laughs> in a different way. Oh, you are a delight, Rarity. And let's not forget my charity auction tomorrow morning. Well, that sounds wonderful, but I have to, of course, there's a seat for you at my dinner party tomorrow night. 
It's just I have a project I really need to get started on, and uh, oh, was rarity. I may as well close down the whole gallery of you, cards of ten. I'll choose the two to death for charity. And this my dinner party would be a disaster. Don't come. And there's something like desirable of not having to go to everything. Like people might want you more because you can't go to everything. Hang on every word that I speak. We'll see. <laughs> that was great, Jesus. Oh. Oh. More sparkly because type of pony. Yes, I'm the type of pony. Yes, I'm the type of pony. Every pony. She's miserable. Sad that she has neglected responsibility. Dearest Rarity, your presence is requested at the Cantalot Garden Party tomorrow afternoon. Yours, Jet Set, and Upper Crust. <gasps> the Cantalot Garden Party! Right next to the Galloping Gala, that is the premier event in Cantalot! But if I go, I'll miss Twilight's birthday. Oh. But if I don't go, my new reputation in Cantalot as a very important pony might be ruined! I might never be invited to another high society event again! My dear Twilight, I am afraid I won't be able to make it to your birthday party tomorrow because Tiana. because poor Opal is quite ill and she is in no condition to make the oh, long journey now back. She's a liar. Oh, no. Well, she's been a liar. Remember, she was trying to hide the fact that her friends. friends. Garden party, here I come. <laughs> yep, that's the appropriate response. Will you? Have, what? Are you, I love the flowers for her. She's so excited to see us, she can hardly talk. What I mean to say is, what are you all doing here? When I got your letter saying you were stuck in Canterlot, I asked Pinkie Pie if it wouldn't be too much trouble to move my birthday party here, so you wouldn't have to miss it. Those are super easy to pack. Wow. First you get me a suite at Canterlot Castle, and now this. These are good friends! I want to say saying what you're doing in that fancy getup. Grandma Dash well, doesn't I, like to hold back. I always put on something a little fancy when Opal's feeling under the weather. Oh, poor Opal. Where is the sick darling? Oh, uh, she's... Hold on. Line. Huh? Grandma's fourth more line. I'm so sorry about this. I was so sorry. Oh, and now she's torturing <laughs> her cat just to uphold her lies. She's bed. Hey, baby. Is that my dress? Yes. So practical. So me! It's the perfect dress for my birthday party! I love it! Isn't it fancy pants? Fancy pants! Where? Ah, uh, he mean... Uh, where did you find the time to put up all these decorations? Practical. <laughs> I'm over here like, give me that hat, give me that, that cloak. <laughs> having my birthday outside, but they're having another party on the castle grounds today. Oh. No reason I can't at least make an appearance. I'm here! Darling, I'm so glad you made it. Rarity! So happy to see the, you here! The clothes I at this event this the don't world. make sense. What, what, say, what the is one is in formal wear, the other one is it wearing more like, of like athletic is attire. Is that cake frosting? <laughs> she has a yes, I sweater around her neck. Both fancy, <laughs> different events. Different kinds of fancy, yes. Who doesn't like the smell of cake frosting? <laughs> yes. I know I do. Mm -hmm. like, with him wearing a tux, you'd expect her to be oh, dressed or something to make me hungry. Like, you are underdressed. And see what's on the table. Mm -hmm. If you'll excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. back and forth. I have, I have lived this life once. Not with a party, but with uh, work. I had to go back and forth between it. Two different jobs. Fill in for one, had some oh, off crowds and you. I honestly don't know if Trip and Chocolate would be that bad, but... Mm, chocolate and most things are I think good, I left the bathwater running in my suite. I really should go check on Opal. Is that Princess Celestia? I need to use the little fillies, bro. Can I get any pony more punch? Uh, 
worn out. What's with the cocaine mallet? Pump up in there. Duh, the one in your mouth? <laughs> oh, that cocaine mallet. I, well, I, you know, the truth is. Were you at that other party in the garden? <gasps> I, yeah, I, uh, I'm surprised at you. Twilight, let me explain. I, I hadn't realized you were such a savvy business pony. You must understand. All of those ponies look so posh. And with the Grand Galloping Gala coming up, I bet you could totally get some of them to buy your dresses. Very smart. Oh. Whoa. Yes, sir. I didn't tell want her the to truth. That would be rude. So that's exactly the reason you, I didn't tell she you. She likes the worst again. Quite an only reason. <laughs> you should totally go over there and mingle. Twilight, you really are the best friend a pony could ever ask for. Right. I don't know why she I ever have understood. You wouldn't understand. Hey, wait up! We're your friends. I'm sure they won't mind if we check out the party too. Come on, you guys. Let's show them how to party Ponyville style. Oh, no. Like, yes, but. What? Oh, my God. They're not normally this chaotic. I mean, Pinky is. Let's be real. Yeah. Rima Dash is also one that we just like, I don't believe what that pony is wearing. It's just so plain. <laughs> yeah. Why are you all wearing Excuse different events? Might I ask where you got your ensemble? Yes, yes, you may. A very, very close friend of mine from Ponyville made it for me. <laughs> is he wearing a Letterman jacket? Ponyville. <laughs> <Didn't say. laughs> I do say her name is Sajukat. Come with me. I'd like to show you this uh, thing that's over there, on the other side of the room. In a moment, my dear. This lovely filly from Ponyville was just about to tell me who made her. Charming dress. Oh, oh, come now, who cares? It's just a plain old. Oh, don't this be so is painful. Lost. This dress you made is beautiful. <gasps> you know these ponies? Like, they're so touching, but like at the same time, oh. All of this is just so bad for her. Yes. Yes, I do know them. They may not be as sophisticated as some of you Cantalot ponies, but they are my best friends. And they are, without a doubt, the most important ponies I know. Finally. Important ponies, these ruffians? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> Excuse me? I, for one, find them charmingly rustic. I love fancy pants. And I think the dress you made for your friend is lovely. I dare say every mare in Canterlot will be wanting one. Oh, I'd like to place my order right now. I love fancy pants. Get two. Uh, yes, now then. How about you introduce me to your friend? With pleasure. Dear Princess <laughs> Celestia, I wanted to tell you about the important lesson I learned during my visit. Now that I would like to hear. I learned that no matter where She's you here. go in life, you should never forget that you are the product of your home and your friends. And that is something always to be proud of, no matter what. A very valuable lesson to have learned. It certainly is. But uh, might I ask that we hurry things up a bit? Oh, no! Humor comes with threes. Verity's my favorite. I think made me more uncomfortable than any of the other episodes. Really? Do tell why. I wasn't afraid of what the pretentious people would think of her. I was afraid of what her friends would think of her and how heartbroken they would have been to know that she'd been lying to them over and over and over again. And lying about them. Mm hmm It's real bad. She went to a... Like, it wasn't a dark on the surface, but it was a dark place she went to in this episode. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I was actually right about what I thought the episode was going to be about once we got to seeing that hillbilly <laughs> redneck <laughs> horse come down. I was like, I know what this is. This is going to be where she's uh, too ashamed of her real life and she needs to try and impress people that ultimately don't matter over her own friends. I'm glad, though, that she made the right call in the end, though. That was good. So Kyle, you and I both live in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and I come from Kentucky, and you come from Ohio. Mm -hmm. And was there any kind of perception differences once you moved out here? Um, yes and no. I, I would say it's just a change in how perception is. Um, I'd say 50% of the people out here just our lemmings that follow whatever's cool and trendy. <laughs> One of my first jobs on set, I told somebody I was from Kentucky 
and they literally went, oh, and I said, did you just check if I was wearing shoes? And they're like, yeah, I thought it was a thing for Kentuckians just to like walk out in the grass barefoot. I'm like, I am on set. They even dressed me today. Why would you even like, pers I don't know. It was just so like insulting at the same time of just being, uh, why would you ever have these perceptions? Because we have stereotypes and I get it. And because you're not wearing shoes right now. And because I'm not, but I'm not <laughs> wearing not shoes, they're socks. <laughs> you gotta like take pride in where you come from. Even Absolutely. if it's just like not and being afraid. You are. Yeah, not being afraid to say, this is where my roots are. That's but true. I'm here now and I have all these other new experiences and you're welcome to love those too. You just don't forget who you were. That's the main thing. Uh, and definitely don't treat your friends like they need to be somebody else because you can be friends with so many different people. Don't it's be okay. ashamed of your friends. Absolutely. That's, own, own your life. That's the one I'm just over here like, I can't defend it. I can't defend her in this part of the episode. <laughs> but it's a learning process and I love watching these ponies learn and I hope you do too. I do. Hey guys, I'm going to do this. Thanks for fanning out with us. Yeah, fans out. Now I just want to make an apple pie. <laughs> I want to make an orange pie. Are you even watching this episode? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you're watching this episode and you like it, hit that like button or tap subscribe or just- Or stay notified with that bell down below. Yeah. And support us at, you know, this button right here. This orange button.